Looking. There is a lot of rain in the forecast. Yes, it is scary, considering we're in Halloween season or approaching it. Uh, it's quite fitting, really, at the moment. But we had some rain pass through this morning, left all areas quite damp and cloudy. But we got some uh, sunshine starting to show through during the afternoon. Someone's looking a little sheepish here. It's a cute picture, but uh, yes, glints of brightness through the afternoon. And it sent our temperatures up to 19 Celsius. So, yes, very mild for the time of year, considering the average for this time of year by day is 14 Celsius. And Kew Gardens in London saw highs of 21 Celsius. It's quite abnormal, really. But as I say, as we're approaching the Halloween season, we're looking for mild nights. And the nights at the moment are quite mild, but uh, we need to beat 15.8 Celsius, which was set at St. James's Park in London. That was in 2014. Uh, but we have uh, got uh, some more uh, daylight, so at least the mornings are going to be brighter and that's uh, going to be uh, because our clocks go back on Sunday. If you saw my tweet, it's not today that the clocks go back, it's on Sunday. Uh, so yeah, you'll get one extra hour in bed. But back to our pressure chart here and we're pulling up this air from the Azores from the south of the uh, region so it's going to be much milder our temperatures will probably be by into double figures during the nights but we've got these frontal systems pushing in from the west and the south and again it's low pressure that's dominating so it's bringing in a lot of instability and rain but uh, there'll be some dry weather on offer by the time we get to the weekend but uh, it'll be in between those fronts that are passing through and there'll be a couple of them coming up from the south on Saturday and then we'll get a little batch of showers as well on Sunday as well. But still quite windy. In fact, it's going to be quite uh, windy by the time we get to tomorrow as we have rain pushing in from the west. So tonight we start off on a dry note, clear spells. We've just got a few showers dotted about, but you can see that rain waiting in the wings. It's not persistent. It'll be outbreaks of rain, but you can see what outbreaks you do get could be quite, quite heavy. And it'll start to push through as a result of the breeze picking up from that southerly direction. And it could be quite gusty by the time we get into the morning tomorrow. But it moves off quite swiftly. We could see gusts of around 40 to 50 miles per hour in places. And then those winds start to calm down once that rain has cleared. And we're looking at sunnier spells into the afternoon. Top temperatures of around 16 to 17 Celsius. And then looking further ahead, uh, for tomorrow night, again, it's dry to begin with, and you can see this band of heavy rain starts to spill up from the south, clearing the region by the start of play on Saturday, but more showers coming in after that. Shafali, thank you very much indeed. We were really hoping that we could go back to Lindsay and Worcester, but we can at least show you some of the pictures for this virtual time trial that's happening across the city this evening. It's a one-off event. It runs until 10 o'clock tonight, so if you're in the city, you might want to get down. I think Chef said the weather's not too bad this evening. The old photos will be projected onto the uh, commandery, St Swithin's Church and the corner of Corn Market. Uh, there are going to be other projections inside different venues as well in historic buildings around the city, uh, which will be open for the evening. Now the Guild Hall will be uh, open for visitors to take a look at the 1950s High Street exhibition and the rear courtyard of the Tudor House Museum which will see projections illustrating everyday life and change. Uh, right, there are just a few days left to nominate your contender for the West Midlands Unsung as Sporting Hero. Last year's winner was in the region for Fran Gamble uh, who has dramatically increased the junior membership at Stone Hockey Club. You can nominate your unsung heroes at BBC Sport Get Inspired page and they have to be over 16. The deadline is to get any entries in in midnight. That's all from us for now. We'll be back 10.30 with your late bulletin. Bye for now.